Welcome. In this practice, we'll be focusing a little extra on forward folds. And this practice will be fantastic if you're a beginner or just wanting to slow down your practice a little bit and take things a bit more gently. Let's begin in a seated position. Get as comfy as you can. Once you've found your seated position, let's get comfy and shut down the eyes. And you might just move your spine forward and back a few times until you're you're in a sweet spot. Create just a little bit of lift into your lower back. And then look to really relax the shoulders. And go ahead and take a nice long and very deep breath in. Easy, soft breath out. And let your jaw relax and your forehead relax. Draw your attention into your body. So just let the content of your mind be filled with the sensations of the body. And you start to notice your breath. Start to tune into the pattern of your breath, the feeling of your breath. And then very gently begin to deepen your breath. So as you breathe in, Imagine you can set it, send it down towards your lower back. Let it fill up and towards the belly space. Rise up into the chest. And let your exhale just come out a little bit slower. And rinse and repeat. As you breathe in, imagine you can send it down the spine, down towards the lower back. Let it swell up into the belly, then up into the chest. And the exhale, just slowing down. And we'll just look to keep that, that level of intimacy with the breath, that level of connection and engagement with it. And we start to move the body into some different postures. So let's stay with it. Keep the breath moving. Go ahead and blink open the eyes. Raise up the arms towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in. And then twisting over to your right. So don't go too deep, but place the right hand behind you. Let your left hand catch the knee. And lift through the lower back before you start to turn the chest a little deeper. Be really gentle in these first few shapes, especially. Final breath here. We keep it nice and slow and running. And then with your inhale, lift the arm back up through center and then onto the other side. So you really want to make it a gentle approach, catching the knee and, and, and more about how, how delicate you can be more so than how firm you can be. So almost look for minimum sensation, but right there on the edge of intensity. You just take one more big breath. And then raise the arms back up through the center. Go ahead and roll over your knees as best as you can and come into tabletop, into hands and knees position. Move into cat-cow. So as you inhale, press your belly down towards the floor. Let your shoulders pin back. And then as you arch your spine, lift it up through the shoulder blades and keep on going. The inhale presses the belly down. And then the exhale arches and raises up through the spine. Concentrate now on your tailbone. As you inhale, tailbone lifts up. And as you exhale, tuck your tail and ripple up through your spine. Last round, inhale to dip. And the exhale to arch through your spine. Come back to a neutral position. And in this shape, just take a, take a sec to look at your hands. Fingers spread nice and wide. Middle finger kind of facing forward towards the top of your mat. And just ever so slightly grip the mat with your fingers, like little, little gecko paws. Tuck your toes. Lift up the hips. And send the hips up. Now we might keep a nice big bend in the knees. But start to draw your chest back. Now, I know it might be a little bit strong on the shoulders, but keep the engagement through your shoulders to push the ground away and take a little bit of a walk on the spot, bending one knee and then the other, not, not pressing too hard through the back of the legs. So apart 
in part strengthening the shoulders, in part opening the back of the legs, little into the lower back as well. Extending the spine here, we just take one more big breath, push the ground away, and then start to walk your hands backwards towards your feet into a nice gentle forward fold. Now, take a really big bend into your knees and then just sort of feel out how much you want to straighten your legs. Try and let your neck relax as much as possible. And if you wanted to bring your elbows up onto your knees, just to take a little load off the, off the lower back, you're welcome to. Whichever position you're in, let your neck get really soft. Let the arms dangle if they're free and shift some body weight forward and back, toes to heels. Then take two more nice long breaths. Really loose through the neck and the shoulders. One more long breath. And now bend the knees deeper, suck your belly in, and gently roll up your spine all the way through to standing. Reach up and stretch up at the top of the mat, reaching up nice and big, and then catch opposite elbows above the head. Squeeze your glutes, your backside, and go ahead, lean over to your right, nice big side bend. One breath here. Inhale to come back up through to center, and then switching over to the other side, leaning deep. One more on each side. Inhale back up. Exhale, switching over to the right. Inhale, back up again, and then last one over to your left. Back through to center. Raise up your arms towards the ceiling, and then gently fold again. Hands coming back down towards the floor. Go ahead and walk your hands out towards the top of your mat, and as soon as you get them out there, drop your knees to the floor and lower yourself all the way down until you're flat onto your belly. Take the hands a little bit wider from there, about as wide as your mat maybe. And as you inhale, lift up the chest into a little back bend. Not too much, just enough to feel it. And then release and bring the chest down. Now really try and point your feet back. Activate your thighs and lift your kneecaps off the floor and then keep going. The inhale to lift up the chest. And the exhale kind of coming back down slowly. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your backside. Let's go two more rounds, inhale to lift. Exhale to lower down and just take one more and nudge the edge of intensity, but don't go beyond it, all the way up. And then release, push your way back to tabletop, hands and knees position. One more time, we come up into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, grip the fingers to the floor a little and lift the hips. Now see if you can put some emphasis on your thumb and index finger rolling down to the floor. Keep a nice powerful position. We put a little bit more body weight into thumb and index finger to keep the, the nice firmness. Shoulders a little bit more active as we put some body weight there. We just take one more big breath and then take a nice easy stroll to the top of the mat. Feet coming forwards towards the hands. Once you get there, inhale, take a halfway lift and try and flatten your back like it's parallel to the floor. Fold back in and then gently bend your knees, roll up the spine through to standing. Reach up and stretch up nice and tall, nice and big, arms up. And then fold, shift a little bit of weight into the toes as you're coming down, hands to the floor. Now take a halfway lift, flatten your back and really try and extend the chest forward. Step your left foot back and lower the knee to the floor. Now take your time here. You might keep the hands on the floor for a little bit more balance. That's okay. Sink the hips in that case. Or maybe you bring your hands up onto the knee or ultimately arms up. In this shape, see if you can squeeze your left glute. Squeeze the left side of your backside. Draw the belly in so you're kind of sandwiching the lower back. And as you let the hips sink in, Sort of send them forward as you feel like you're tucking your tailbone. Now your toes at the back might be tucked in for a bit more balance or untucked for a little bit more length into the hip. We take just maybe two more breaths. We hang strong. Keep lifting through your rib cage, stretching upward. Last big breath. And then release hands down to the floor. 
go ahead and start to straighten through your front leg. Now this might be a little bit of a strong shape into half Hanuman. See if you can adjust your back leg, hips above the back knee and the front foot lifted. Try and settle the shoulders and relax a little through the neck. And let the, the foot be lifted towards the ceiling as you just take maybe two more long breaths. Really try and saturate your lower back. You're welcome to have a bend in the front knee. So final breath. And then looking forwards, walk the hands forward, pick up the back knee, and then raise your right hand up towards the ceiling. Now, if it's a little strong, if it's a little rich, bring your right hand onto the hip. But keep the back leg really straight, knee lifted, the thighs engaged, and we're just going to take two more big breaths here. Keep turning the right shoulder up towards the ceiling for the last big breath. And then bring the hand down to the floor. Step your right foot back, lower the knees, and lower the whole body down until you're flat. Take the hands a little bit wider. Inhale to lift the chest two times now. Exhale to release. One more, just like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to bring it back down nice and gently. Send the hips backwards into tabletop. And then come up into downward facing dog once again. Lift up the hips. One more big breath there. And then just an easy walk towards the top of the mat. Feet coming forwards towards the hands. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold again. Stand tall and reach up all the way up. Exhale to fold. Hands coming down. Suck your belly in here. Tight core. Inhale. Halfway lift. Flat back. Step your right foot back and lower the knee to the floor. Any variation here. So hands on the floor and sinking the hips forward. Maybe hands up on the knee. But either way, whichever variation you got, squeeze your right glute. Draw the belly in a little tighter. Feel like you're growing taller in the chest. And then sending the hips just a little further forward while you feel like you're subtly tucking your tailbone. We keep the breath flowing and and really bringing the first part of the inhale down below the ribs. Saturate the lower back, saturate the belly. Let's go two more big breaths here. Give it a little, a little hold. Last big breath now. And then release two hands to the floor. You might scoot your back knee a little further back. But go ahead and begin to straighten through your front leg. But it doesn't have to be all the way straight. Welcome to have a bit of a bend in the knee. But certainly try and lift the foot towards the ceiling. You'll feel it intensify, I think, nearly immediately. So you, you play with the edge of sensation and you're finding an intelligent edge. See if you can bring a little focus to the left hip and let it sink back and down while you soften your shoulders and your neck and take one final breath here. And then take a lunge, walk the hands forward. Take your time, but lift the back knee and raise your left hand up towards the ceiling. Now, either the hand reaches or the hand on the hip, but turn the left shoulder back. See that your front knee is above your ankle and the back leg feels as firm and active as possible. Keep the knee lifted. Last two breaths here. And release. Left hand down. Go ahead and step your left foot straight back. Maybe drop down to the knees straight away. Lower yourself all the way down towards your belly. Take the hands a little bit wider. Inhale to lift the chest one time. Cobra. Exhale to lower down. Keep the feet pointed one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale to release. Push back through to tabletop, hands and knees. And then one more time up into downward facing dog, lifting up your hips. Walking towards the top of your mat, feet coming forwards towards the hands. 
Take your time if you need. Once you get there, inhale to halfway lift. Lots of them going on, isn't there? Exhale to fold again. Stand tall, reach up, all the way up. Exhale to fold again, hands coming down. Now go ahead and step your left foot back. Lower the heel to the floor so the back foot is on a bit of an angle, about 45 degrees. Now keep your front knee bent for a little bit here. Firm up your back thigh, so really keep it strong so you feel anchored to the floor. And then just lift the chest a little bit forward and start to straighten through your front leg. So you'll feel it stretching the back of the leg pretty straight away, I think. Start to let your shoulders relax. If the ground is feeling far away, hands up onto the shin, or if you've got blocks, maybe up onto the knee even. But really, let the shoulders soften a little and take two more big breaths here. And then hands to the floor. Extend the stance a little further out. Slide your back foot a good foot further back. Turn the heel down and open the arms out into a T-shape. Warrior two. Just take a little break on the front leg. Straighten the leg out. Draw your belly in. As you let your hips sink backwards, go ahead and bring the right hand down towards the shin or maybe the floor. Maybe just a little bit of support on the upper shin might be just enough to feel it. Welcome to use above the knee, but really let the hips feel like they're sinking backwards. Keep the front big toe in contact with the floor and feel like, again, the back leg is really strong. The thigh active and the glute active. Left hand is reaching up and we take a good two more big breaths here. And as you exhale, release your left hand to the floor. And go ahead and simply walk the hands forward, lower the back knee down to the ground, and take a moment to raise the arms up. Back in the lunge, and let's see if we can go just a little bit deeper on it. In this shape, catch a hold of your thumbs above your head. Pull on the thumbs, let the chest lift, but let the hips sink forward. If this is a little much, Hands on the knee or hands on the floor once again. A good two more big breaths right here. And then release. Bring the hands down and gently step your way up to the top of the mat. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold again. Inhale to stand up all the way up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. And then exhale and fold. Draw the belly back in as you're folding down. Keep the belly tight as you halfway lift. Exhale and step your right foot back. Let the heel settle down to the floor. So turn the foot to an angle. And you really want to get it planted. So feel secure. Shorten it up as much as you want. And as you start to straighten through the front leg, puff your chest forward a little further and then let the chest sink back and down. Maybe hands on the shin, or, or if you've got blocks or something to support, feel free. Or bending the knee a little further and bringing the hands up onto the knee. Sending the leg straighter and straighter by lifting through your left sitting bone. Let's just stay for two more big breaths here. And then Little bend into the front knee, slide the back foot back a good foot, open out the arms into a very brief warrior two, chest facing to the right, and start to straighten through your front leg. Press the front big toe into the floor, lift through the inseam of your left leg, all the way up into your belly, suck it in, and as your left hand comes down, right hand moves up, and just allowing a little rotation through your chest towards the ceiling, Left hand just where you need it. And then really stabilizing your back leg. As the right hand reaches up, in contrast, let your right shoulder blade sink down. 
Let's just take one final breath here. Nice long hold. And as the right hand comes down, gently turn the left foot in. We're facing the side of the mat now, a little different. Take an inhale to halfway lift and an exhale to fold forward. There's a wide-legged forward fold. In this shape, use your hands wherever you need them. Bend your knees as much as you want to. But keep the feet slightly turned in towards each other. Not much, just a little bit. And shift some body weight into your toes. Just enough to feel like you're doing something there. They feel engaged, but not, not so strong that you won't be able to hold it for long. Let the shoulders relax. Let your belly suck in. And let your tailbone feel like it's lifting. That's a bit of a funny one, but try it. Tailbone lifting. We'll take one more big breath now. And then take an inhale. Halfway lift. Walk the hands back to the top of the mat to your left. And lower the back knee down. Raise the chest and arms up. Take your time there. And in this shape, catch the thumbs. As you pull on the thumbs, the shoulders activate. Squeeze your right glute, draw the belly in. Hips sink a little forward, so get some body weight into the front foot. And then lift through the ribs. Feel, feel a sense of energization upward with two more downward breaths. Final big breath now. And release. Nicely done. Stepping up to the top of the mat. As you get there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold again. Stand tall, reach up all the way. Exhale to fold again. Please feel free to bend the knees as you fold. Halfway lift again. Step back to plank and then lower the knees all the way to the floor, followed by the chest. Come all the way down. Take the hands a little, a little wider. Last time we do this, inhale to lift up the chest. Exhale to lower back down. Two more. Point the toes, point the feet. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, coming down. And once you do, send the hips backwards into child's pose. So it's just like the fetal position. And let the hips sink down and back. If this is not a, not a happy position, it can just sort of stay in a, a, a hands and knees position and start to send the hips backwards any amount. If you're comfy, let the chest come down. Arms can be out in front of you or back behind you. Let yourself take at least three or four big breaths here. Let it expand the entire back body. Last big breath. And then come to hands and knees. Take the legs out to the side and then out in front of you. And once they come out in front of you, let's bring the soles of the feet to touch. Sit the hips in. Doesn't matter how high the knees might be lifted. Work with what's there. Catch a hold of the ankles or maybe the toes. Lift through the lower back. And then gently press your belly forward like you're trying to lift a little through the belly and chest before you dive somewhat between the legs. So just that sense of direction into the posture. If you're starting to feel pretty comfortable in the shape, keep the extension in the lower back. Keep that real feeling of lifting the chest and the lower back forward out over the toes with the belly space, more so than curling in towards a ball. So lengthen the spine. You work with whatever's happening in the hips. Just go breath by breath. Each inhale, think of it going into the lower back. Each exhale, think of the texture, smooth. Look for a count of maybe five seconds to breathe in 
and five seconds to breathe out. See if you can start to consciously work with slowing the heart rate down, integrating this willful conscious breath to soothe the body. Let's just take two or three more. And then with an inhale, lift up your chest nice and slowly. And go ahead and kick the legs out to the sides. And just have a little, little bit of a play, turning the legs in and out, letting them flop, do what they want. And then bend your knees and drop the knees from side to side as far as you want to go with it or as shallow as you want to go with it. Just sort of loosen off for one more or two more breaths. Just a little bit more here. So good. And then... Let's go ahead and kick the left leg out to the side of the mat. The right foot inside the leg. Now, try and prop yourself up nice and high, even if that means sitting on something like a cushion here. If it feels like you're tipping backwards, sit on something. But let's head towards a side bend. Left hand down, right hand coming up, and a little tilt back on the top shoulder. Now, really try and keep the right sitting bone anchored to the floor as you stretch upward and then over towards the foot. Think of, think of this shape as like closing a circuit. So as much as the hand is reaching for the foot, the foot is also reaching up and back for the hand. Keep the top shoulder turning towards the ceiling and your breath really expansive. Let it fill into the right side of your rib cage. We're only here for two more breaths. Give the side body a little attention for one more breath. And then as you inhale, lift up, lift out. Place your right hand just behind your hip onto the floor. Take your left hand onto the knee or the thigh. Keep the bum heavy. Lift through your lower back and rotate the chest. So a little bit of softness through the shoulders. Don't strain here. Two more big breaths. Keep it lifted in the lower back. Empty out the exhale, really. Drop the belly back on the exhale. Release. Come back through center. I'm just going to go straight onto the other side. So right leg out, left leg in. Side bend. Left hand reaching up. So you've got your nice deep anchor. Left sitting bone heavy. And you're reaching up. You reach over, foot reaching back. And that right hand there on the floor is, is there to help kind of keep the chest turned up to the ceiling. And then really look to expand your breath. Breathe into the side body. Let the rib cage open up. We give it a little bit of a hold. If the arm at the top is getting tired, Take a bend into the elbow. You might even place the hand gently on the side of the head. Two more big breaths here, a little longer. Next inhale, lift up, lift out. Left hand behind your hip, right hand to your knee. So two sitting bones heavy, lift through the lower back and rotate the chest. Two more big breaths there. Try and draw the shoulder blades back. Draw the chest through the shoulders. One more big breath. And then release, come back through center, nice and slowly. Again, hands behind you, feet on the floor about mat width apart. And drop the knees a couple of times from side to side. And from there, go ahead and walk the legs out in front of you a little bit further and place your right ankle up on top of your left knee. Shorten up the stance now. So draw your left heel in and you just jump off this path wherever you want to. You start to scooch your hips in and you'll know when to stop. If you want more, keep walking the hands in and close the gap. If you're quite close, start to lift a little extra into your lower back and keep the hips pretty much on the floor. 
You know, if you're, if you're, if you've gone to ballerina level, <laughs> kick your left leg out straight, and you could play with a shape called cradle the baby. We take the leg into the arm and wrap the arms around. Maybe just some inspiration for now, but we all keep this sense of lift through the lower back, and they all share a similar position. We just take two more big breaths wherever you might be. And then release and take it into the other side. So shake that leg out, give it a little little moment to itself, and then stack the left ankle on the right knee, bend it up, and then walk the hips in, hands in, and then you feel it out. Even it's almost counterintuitive. You can I can feel it as I lean back a little bit. It's the straightening of the spine that makes the difference. So work with whatever depth and whatever sensation is there and be somewhat explorative. A big part of the practice is just getting to know the body, really building a relationship with it. And here, especially in postures like this, we look to keep that relationship really uh, nice and open. And so some nice soothing breaths, a nice tranquil environment, Last couple here. And then release. Two legs out in front of you. Walk your sitting bones back a little further. Lift a little higher through your lower back. So try and keep as straight a spine as possible, even if that means bending your knees. Notice as tall as you can through your lower back, soften your shoulders, and then press the belly forward and then down into the fold. So just a little bit of consideration for the lower back, keeping it lifted, and then letting the spine extend forward and down. Again, as much of a bend in the knees as you want, and we've done plenty of forward folds, so we're only going to hold this for about another three big breaths. Shoulders and neck can relax as much as you want. Last breath or two now. And as you inhale, lift the chest up and then gently roll down onto your back. Take a hold of your knees and once you're there, hug them in. Do a little bit of circling with your knees or just anything that kind of feels good there. And then let's go ahead and set the feet down on the floor at about, about the width of your hips and, and then just an inch closer together than that. And then go ahead and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Try and squeeze your backside, squeeze your glutes, and let a sense of suction come into your belly. Try and l so, sort of squeeze your belly up behind your ribs. Yeah. So there's this inward and upward lift of your belly. So we've got this kind of sandwiching effect, glutes and belly. Core super active. Now keep that tension, stay for just another three breaths, but see if you can lift the back of your heart. Take another final breath and then release. Come on down nice and slow. Take the feet a little wider, drop the knees a couple of times from side to side, left to right. And then drawing the knees in towards the chest. Now you could just keep a hold of the knees just like that or, or maybe grab the back of the thighs. So you're kind of in this like upside down kind of squat. Or alternatively, grab the outer blades of your feet and go a little deeper into happy baby. We'll just stay here and about five big breaths. You might rock a little side to side or forward and back. And even if you're familiar with happy baby, it's just super nice to catch the back of the thighs and... You can even interlock your fingers there. And just take another breath or two. And then a release into Shavasana. We take a rest, laying down flat. Get as comfortable as you can. So palms face upward. 
arms spaced a little away from the body, shoulder blades tucked underneath you, legs are spaced apart and the feet flop out to the sides. The head and the neck in a really comfy position. And then let the body surrender. Let the body completely relax into the floor. Relax your jaw and the back of the neck, back of the shoulders and the ribs, the belly space and your lower back, the hips and the knees, the ankles and the toes. Total relaxation of the body. We give the body this little gift of rest. Just take a few moments here to yourself. Let everything settle towards the floor. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Take a moment in stillness, but just let some energy come back through the body, deepening your breath. When you feel ready, start to wriggle, move fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. Have a stretch, awaken the body through movement. Turn off to a side, take a moment there. And then when you're ready, come up to a seated position. I try and keep the eyes closed in the seated position and just take one extra moment. If you're called to, bring your hands to prayer at heart center and we bring the hands to this position as a gesture. It's a gesture of togetherness, a gesture of union, a, a meeting of the polarizing elements that we all have within ourselves. And here, they meet in a gesture of, of unity and ultimately love. And it's with that in mind that we take a humble bow of the head and say namaste. Thank you, folks. What a joy. Nice to, nice to move the body and get the whole, whole, whole back chain opened. Take care. Have fun. Big love to you. See you soon.